Hey guys, Oso Sinister here, and today we're going to be learning a new card trick called Psy uh Stack. And this is like a mentalism trick, I suppose, where you t like give someone a card and then you should know it like right when they give it to you, like right when they take the card. So in this case, you need to do a little setup for it. You need to take all the suits, you need to take all the clubs, hearts, king, like spades and diamonds, and they put it from ace to king order. And they have to be, and the kings have to be arranged in order. In this case, I have, I know a winning memory called chase. So in this case, it's clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Right? So after we have that, as you can see, I have clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. So this right here is it's on my right hand side. If you want to follow along, this is my right hand side. So after you like, you can pause the video and go ahead. And so the order I have here. All right. So after you done that, then what you do is go to the clubs, take the ace of clubs and put it on top. Then you go to the king of hearts and find the four of hearts. Right. Get all the four cards to the four of hearts and bring it to the top. Then you do you look for a seven of spades and take all the seven cards from the bottom, bring it to the top. And lastly, take the ten of diamonds, take all the ten cards and bring it to the top. <coughs> so what you have is the ace of clubs, four of hearts, seven of spades, nine of diamonds. All right. Move that out the way. After you've done that, then you start going ace. Then you go from clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Repeat the process: clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. And basically, you just keep repeating the process after you run all out of the cards. So this basically sets up the trick by threes because you notice nine plus three is twelve, which is the queen. If you add three from the queen, it's two. Two plus three is five. So that's how you can tell that it's actually working. So basically, you tell somebody to pick a card, and once they have it in your hand, you should know by then what their card is. It's a pretty good mentalism card trick. I I do it. I use it a lot in my magic tricks now, and I'm gonna show you like basically what to do now. So hold on, just let me get a minute real quick. I am done. Okay. After that, this is what you should have. Like that it looks like to them is a mixed up pack, but hopefully they will not notice that it's from black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, and like that. It's like a pattern. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna notice that. You just tell them it, it looks mixed up, and they're gonna go along with you. So what you do now is go tell them the you're gonna riffle down the packet and tell them to stop and say stop, and then this card they're gonna take it, and here's where you have to guess the card part. So the jack of hearts. So basically, when you riffle and like show them the card, this is the card like you got faced up. So the jack of hearts. So how you notice? Like remember, go back to chase. So clubs, hearts. So the next um, suit is spades. So you have to remember when you see hearts, go to the next suit. It's spades, and then add three to jack, which jack is eleven. So queen, king, and ace. So basically, it's telling you it's the ace of spades. See? See how it works just like that easily? Alright, let's go to the next one. Um, Let's say it's time we stop right here. Alright, now when you like show them the card, look at this card too. Alright, eight of hearts. So hearts again. Go to the next suit, spades. Add three to eight, you get the jack because jack is counted as 11. So queen, not queen, nine, ten, and jack. So you should get the jack of spades. See? So basically, like this is a good mentalism trick. You can also like spread it in the hands and it's like I say to pick this card, but you have to look at you have to like have to look at this card in order what to know what this card is. So basically you tell them to stop on this card and remember the ten of hearts, so hearts again, next card is spade. So add three to ten, you get the king of spades. Watch. Alright? So yeah, this is a really good mentalism card trick, like I said. Let's try to find a different card. Let's see. Let's say... Oh my gosh, I keep getting hearts. Hearts again? Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Spades. Now, if you get spades, you go up to the next one, the diamond, and then add three to two. So you get five of diamonds. 
All right, let's try to find now. Let's say you get you stop at a diamond. I, when I first learned this, I was like, oh shoot, what what I did it again? So basically, what you do from diamond, you go all the way back to clubs. So after diamond, you go back to clubs, and then you add three to five, and you get the eight of clubs. See, so I hope you guys like this trick. And also, before you go, before I go, you cannot shuffle it. You can do false cuts. I mean, you can you can do this if you want, or you can do regular cuts like swing cuts, like regular cuts. It doesn't matter as long as you don't shuffle the cards, unless you know how to do a Zaro shuffle. Because if you do know how to do a Zaro, that you know how to do a Zaro shuffle, then you should be good. If you know Zaro shuffle, and you can perform it as long as much as you want. And still, it doesn't disturb. So four diamonds, diamonds, clubs, seven to clubs. Let's see. Alright guys, this has been Ozone Sinister here. And I'll see you guys later.